Hi, welcome to another edition of The Grind, where we talk about what it takes to make faith work in the world. Have you ever wondered what it takes uh, to have a widow have courage as she stands beside a fresh grave? Or have you ever thought about what it takes for parents to be um, in a hospital room with a sick child that seems to be kind of lingering and hanging between life and death? Um, why would um, anybody think that that would be an easy thing to do, or why would anybody think that's part of God's plan? I mean, that is a question that people ask all the time. And you have to understand that there is something that happens when we go through pain and we come to the brink of our existence that keeps followers moving forward. And those who are not followers sometimes crumble. What's the difference? Well, the difference is the hope that we have as followers in the bodily resurrection. In other words, it's that promise that God makes to us. It simply says, you know what, this is not the end. We've all figured it out, right? Life is fragile. The unexpected happens. There are times when it just doesn't go like we think it's going to go. Um, it is that perpetual question that people just get swallowed up in. You know, why do why do bad things happen to good people? And sometimes that can become so big and, and, and so horrible that we just can't seem to find our way out of it. At the end of the day, there is a moment where we as followers have to lock our lives into the reality that this is just a passing stop for us in the grand scheme of eternity. Um, in 1 Corinthians 15, Paul talks about that a little bit. I use that passage a lot at funerals. I used it as a funeral um, not too many days ago. And he reminds us that if the resurrection of Jesus is a myth, then everything that he teaches, everything that we hold on to, is nothing but a joke. It's a hoax. Fake news, if you will. But because of the reality of the resurrection of Jesus, then we do have something to hold on to, something that sets us apart and something that gives us a hope for tomorrow. That unshakable confidence comes because Jesus did something on the cross for each one of us and then came back from the grave. And because he's been raised, then that becomes our ultimate victory, the last hurrah, if you will, uh, the ultimate game changer for us as we move through life. I would love to tell you that your life is always going to be good and easy and if I said that to you, I would be lying. And so I don't want to lie. What I want to do instead is encourage you to embrace this thing called the grind. Know that even in those darkest moments, even when it is tough, even when it is hard, the thing that sets followers apart from everyone else is the fact that we know there is a resurrection day coming for all of us who know Him. That changes it all. Hold on to that truth. Sometimes it's all you have to hold on to, but it's real. And I promise, not because I said so, but because the Word does. And you embrace that as you continue to live the grind.